Traditional security tools are not designed for today's cyber threats. The traditional approach of using a patchwork of protection tools for backup, patch automation, anti-malware, configuration management, and more is complex, expensive, and ineffective. Acronis CyberProtect offers a revolutionary approach to cyber protection by integrating data protection with cybersecurity. This integrated method eliminates complexity challenges, delivers better protection against today's threats, and maximizes efficiency by saving time and money. With its full-stack anti-malware protection and comprehensive endpoint management, Acronis CyberProtect combats advanced cyber attacks with a unique integration of protection technologies while simplifying daily IT operations, endpoint deployments, management, and reporting. Now you can manage all your cyber protection aspects from a single pane of glass. When logging into the Acronis CyberProtect as an IT administrator, you will see the so-called Cyber Protection Console. The console is designed to conveniently manage all of your machines and provide a helicopter view of their current cyber protection status. Starting with the dashboard, here you can see a page presenting the current cyber protection status of all of your machines. The information is stratified according to some predefined topics and displayed in widgets. The protection status widget displays information about the protected, unprotected, managed, and discovered machines. The active alert summary widget presents information about security issues of your machines revealed by the Acronis Cyber Protect. Those alerts are stratified according to their type and severity. The activities widget highlights a summary of all cyber protection activities for the last one, seven, 30 days, or one month. Those activities include discovering data, malware scanning, vulnerability assessment, updating cyber protection definitions, and so on. Next, let's move on to onboarding of new machines. In the Acronis Cyber Protection Console, adding devices to be protected is straightforward and easy. Simply navigate to the Devices section, press Add. In the top right of the screen, select multiple devices in the Auto Discovery section. And then in the wizard, select an agent to perform the discovery scan. Select Add Machines manually and the scan option, and then click next. As a next step, add a machine IP address into the input field and click the dash in the connectivity status to ping the machine. Wait until the status of the machine gets an okay and click next. For post discovery options, select install agent and then provide the credentials for the selected machine and click next. When you see the ready to install status, Click the Install button, and as soon as the installation process is over, you can navigate to the Plans section and apply the available protection plans to the discovered machines. In Acronis CyberProtect, you can create one simple protection plan and apply it to as many machines as you would like. To do so, simply navigate to the Plans tab, select Create Plan in the top right, and then select the machines you would like to apply it to at the beginning with the Add Devices button. Here you can simply navigate through to the machines you want to add, Find the machine you would like, select it, and click Add in the bottom right. From there, you're shown the complete com protection plan. You can pick and choose the modules you'd like to enable for this protection plan, simply turning them on or off with the switch as necessary. Starting with the backup module. It's very straightforward to use, and there's a new feature here called Continuous Data Protection. Now, Continuous Data Protection, or CDP, allows you to select specific applications or files and folders to continuously protect. The software will look for modified files matching either the specific applications or files and folders that you've selected and automatically back them up as soon as changes are detected. Moving on, next we need to choose where we want to back up. A wide variety of locations are selected, but for this demonstration we'll select a network share that's accessible by this machine. From that point, we'll move into the scheduling. In the scheduling section, we can go through and change how we're going to be backing up the machine. We have various schemes that we can use here. Our default is the always incremental format. From there, we can go through and choose what kind of a schedule we'd like. Do we want it to be monthly, weekly, or daily? And what specific time we would like it to run at? From that portion, it's on to choosing how long we want to hold on to these backups. So we can choose how long to keep the backups, choose our retention rules based off the monthly, weekly, or daily flags that we set to the incremental backups that we're creating. It's completely user definable, so you can choose how long to hold on to these backups and adjust them as you see fit. Now to summarize, Acronis's mission is cyber protection. That means all data, applications, and workloads need to have safety, accessibility, privacy, authenticity, and security. Modern cyber attacks, data leaks, and ransomware outbreaks all show the same thing. Cyber security alone is failing. This failure is the result of weak technologies and human mistakes caused by clever social engineering. In cases where a backup solution was working well and wasn't compromised, it usually takes hours and days to restore systems with data to an operational state. Backup is essential for when cybersecurity solutions fail, but at the same time, backup solutions can be compromised, disabled, and perform slowly, causing businesses to lose a lot of money due to downtime. 
To solve these problems, Acronis has developed Acronis CyberProtect, a cyber protection solution that combines anti-malware and backup into a single agent running under a family of Windows operating systems.